Hi, everyone. Our day three for this week, we're talking about letting go. <laughs> this is a uh, this is this one's a little easier for me than some of the other steps. And I think this one's easier for me because language is one of those things that I just get. And even though I am sometimes my own worst advocate because I can always see the other side of the coin, I understand language enough to be able to frame and reframe thinking. So that's what today's challenge is all about in our process of learning how to let go is changing the way we talk to ourselves. So do we want to let go? If we want something, we can get that something. If we empower ourselves through positive thinking, through leaning on our strengths, through believing, then we can do it. But if we wake up every day or we start every difficult moment with I can't, which trust me, I have done. I can't tell you how many times I have shown up at my neighbor's door with a box of tissues and just said, I can't. I can't be in my house anymore. I can't be here. I can't do this anymore. And none of it's really true because I can and I have day after day after day. And showing up at my neighbor's door with a box of tissues and saying those words out loud empowered me to keep going. So I would sit on his couch and cry and would tell him, go to work, go do what you need to do. I just need to be here. I need to be outside of my home. I need to be outside of my spaces. I need to be outside of where everything still stares me down. Everything that was left my responsibility just looks at me and taunts me. And then I would sit in these quiet spaces and empower myself to go from can't to won't. And it took a lot of time, but I very, I was going to say quickly, it took a lot of time, so nothing was quick. It took a lot of time, but I went, I was able to go from, I can't do this anymore. I can't face this world without I can't take this next step and clean out my house. I can't look at belongings that were ours, that were hers, that aren't mine. To, I won't let this take control of me. I won't give away my power anymore. I won't make the wrong choice that doesn't protect me. I will empower myself to get, even if it's just to the next stepping stone, I will empower myself to get to that next space. Reframing the way we think and the way we talk to ourselves is huge in letting go. And it's a skill, like all these others are skills. This one is a skill I think I have down pretty well, although I do have to remind myself to do it. And all too often I have to put myself in a position where I can do it in a safe space. And so there was one day in the midst of my world crumbling around me where I punched my hallway wall and I'm not a wall puncher I didn't do any damage I don't have any strength in my hand like that it's not something I've ever done before but it's just like oh and I'm not even sure that's a punch you know like it wasn't you know it was just a just a fist again just angry it was so angry and I was hurt and I knew if I stayed there I could destroy everything I owned. I could destroy everything that wasn't mine that was left behind for me to deal with. And none of it would resolve anything. 
but I had to get out of that space. Not only the space in my head where that's all I could think about was what did I do to deserve this? Why am I cleaning up everything? All the questions that I talked about yesterday, all the what ifs, all the should haves, all those questions that are really not resolvable questions. I had to get away from those and physically I had to get away from my space. I had to get away from this place where I was looking at it all as if it was taunting me. And I uh, would reframe my thinking sitting on someone else's couch. Go for a walk. (laughs) There's some irony there, but anyway. Um, Go for a walk. Go somewhere. Get somebody on the phone, go get Starbucks, go get a donut. (laughs) Reframe thinking. Go from I can't do this anymore (laughs) to I won't let this happen to me anymore. (laughs) We'll just pause here while my dog goes crazy because somebody walked by the house. Let me repeat that. Go from I can't do this anymore to I will not let this control me anymore. I'm not sure if that's exactly what I said if I repeated word for word. Don't let those thoughts, that fear, that unknown take your power. Reframe your thinking so you're now thinking I can do this. I will take control. I will handle the things I can control. And if there's an I won't, then let it be an I won't let this thing control me. I will not hand over my power. I cannot tell you how many times in the first several months of my ex leaving I ran, I tried to run every morning, I ran and I ran and I ran and I eventually had to give up running because I lost so much weight, I think I was just burning muscle at some point, I had to give up running for about two and a half months um, while I taught myself to eat again, that's another thing we'll talk about on my agenda, as we live inside this authentic space of being vulnerable humans is Maslow's Pyramid of Needs. Um, I quickly went from the very top of that pyramid down to, I I, I didn't even have survival covered and I'm working my way back up, but I had to teach myself how to eat again. Anyway, on those runs in the early days of the happening, I would listen to Donna Summer. And I would just repeat the mantra over and over. Don't give away your power. 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 So change your thinking from I can't to I won't let this control me. It's part of letting go. What can you control? Dive into those things and start controlling them. What you can't control is out of your power. So empower yourself to take control when you can, where you can, how you can. And go out there and just crush it. Don't give away your power. Take it back. Keep living inside the vulnerable. This is where authentic living is its truest. This is where love blossoms. This is where beautiful relationships form, friendships, partnerships, business. This is where humans were meant to live because we are just human. So keep living here. And if there's something you need to let go, start working on 
letting go. But remember, it's a skill that we practice. So keep practicing it. Take care, guys.